Bubble Fit Bit, 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 Doom Doom, Bubble Fit Bit. So, we are looking at Boba Fett, Book of Boba Fett, Chapter 4, The Rising, was it called The Raging Gathering Storm? Storm. Gathering, Gathering Storm? Gathering Storm. The Gathering Storm. So, where do we want to start? What do we think? Anyone? So I'll go, if you want. <coughs> well, I'm... Go, go for it. Yeah. My first point is, am I missing something in that flashback where he... Uh, hands over a bag full of credits to old robo maker does he know who fennec is before he does all this is he is is there some history there that i don't know about that has never been in any of the three films and we're all supposed to know or is he just taking pity on a random stranger or as my first initial thoughts were he's a dirty old man he was thinking oh i could rescue women and get some (laughs) and then he realizes he's quite handy with a weapon and changes his mind so I don't know. Is that no, something I think I've it missed was, uh, in the canon universe of? No, nah, I think it was more the kind of that I saved your life. Now you owe me a favour, kind of thing. Uh, I, I'd see, I'd see, I, 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 I think it's even worse than that. I think this is just Boba Fett being nice. I got issue with that as well. That comment I've got an issue with. Well, we'll I think we might come back to that. That's probably I, more I, about the series in general. I did it. I did it deliberately. Okay. Okay, well, that's my, my question's answered. That's all I wanted to know. So it's not, I haven't missed something or, you know, it's somewhere not in, as far in as, the Star Wars no. EU. I'm getting all the terms now. It's not in the Star Wars EU that, in, you know, they have a history and he, he's, um, I don't think so. I better save her. Not, 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 not that I, I, I'm aware of. That doesn't mean that they don't in, in, in that grand you know, universe, but uh, I, I don't think it necessarily is. No, I think it was him just trying to help her out. Yeah, because I suppose we're we're still in that bit that a lot of people aren't grasping that since his, you know, he's been reborn from the um, from the Sarlacc, hasn't he now? And he's rediscovered himself and all that was, I guess that's where a lot of the controversy over the show still lies because they still want Bubba. Okay, well, let's, 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 all right, let's, let's, let's go to that because that is what I've I've got an issue with. So what, so what you've just said there, people have got issue with him being nice this, this i mean nice is probably oversimplified and he's being calculated but not so, being so so people, evil. people people have issue with the fact that in their heads they want him, him to be badass plus a you know 18 plus bounty hunter killing spree type thing and yeah but where, did, where does that come no, no, from no, because no, no, he's no, the no, teenage no, no. wet dream of for 40 years of this killer, but yeah. we don't get any of that. You get no, you get six minutes get of five him in minutes, Star Wars yeah. films. Yeah, but, but, but I think that's the issue. Is that for, for, and, and if I'm honest, even at the time, I don't think Boba Fett was my favourite character because he wasn't in it that much. He was he was like the coolest or one of the coolest action figures uh, going, um, but that was only mainly because Luke's paint on his face was coming off his nose. Um, so I didn't really like the, that on uh, my action figure, and Boba Fett looked cooler than, even if paint came off his costume. Um, but for some reason, I, th- I think, and, and let's face it, if you were a kid at the time, most of your mo- most of these um, issues for, are from later on in life when they want Bob, Boba Fett to, as I said, be this badass, you know, evil, gritty bounty hunter, and it actually turns out to be because of the events that happened to him an all right kind of guy but he's still yeah. he was essentially he, he was a prop in the <clears throat> first three films yeah he and, he, like and, and he and he also realizes that you know as as, as we've heard you know, make make sure that if you're taking a job take it for someone who's not going to screw you over or whatever you know he's been around the block and now he's got an opportunity to to make his own way and he's not having to to bow down for anyone yeah, it's so, so, like... so I deliberately said that because there's been so much at the moment on <laughs> uh, on internet with with yeah, it's, it's almost two factions, <laughs> the old republic and the rebel alliance on on whose side you stand. Yeah. Now it is. It's just like you know, like you say, it, he's been around. He's been screwed over by everyone else. He's like, screw this. I'm going to be the boss now. And you know, I don't see anything wrong with it myself. It's it's developed well. You know, like you say, for someone who had about six minutes of screen time, 
probably seven, eight minutes if you want to count the cartoon from the holiday special. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, all these people for years have built it up in their head of how cool he is and went and got tattoos of him and that. That's your fault. You know, it's, um, <laughs> you know, it, you know, it, it plays well. It works well. It makes sense. It's a redemption. I mean, I, I'm still on the, the vine of this is kind of the unforgiven, but with Boba Fett. I, I, I do still have a lot of issues with a number of his life cho- choices since um, since since, since you know, yeah. taking over the, the the mantle of Jabba the Hutt. I just walk around the street like like with no no real bodyguards you know, or, mm. or army to protect him. Often when just carrying had... his helmet <laughs> rather yeah. than wearing yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Again, so which it's... comes back to our thing we were saying earlier, or I was saying earlier. You know, you can't wear a helmet too much now. We need to see the star we paid for. Exactly. So, so Jed Mercurio obviously looked at uh, Boba Fett and thought, you, you know, if he's taken off his helmet, these bomb disposal guys, they can do exactly the same. Yeah. That's it. It's a, it's a galaxy thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, so, so let's, let's, I want to draw a line under that. But what? So everything we say is coming from a place of, actually, this is essentially almost a new Star Wars character. Yeah, I think he's. I think there's bits of it still there, and I still think we're going to see that bit where we get our kick-ass Bubba Fett moment. But Let, they're, let's, they're building let, to it. And as Brett said, let's be honest, there wasn't much of an original. Yeah, if we're talking That's about what films. I mean. So, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and actually, when, when, you, when you look at Jedi, he was quite poor. Yeah, he was. He, he, he wasn't that much of a great bounty hunter in Jedi. Um, and how, how we got. You know, in, in, into you know, um, uh, I was going to say killed off, but, but we know he wasn't killed off. Um, so yeah, um, I, I, I think it's just one of those things that the, there's two different factions. One that had one view of how Bubba Fett should be, and that had to be the way that they wanted them to be. Lo and behold, that someone with money and um, who could write scripts had a different view. But the protector, of the, but the protector of the childhood, John Favreau is in charge of this, so it must be right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I okay. mean, I, I, I would say my main bit is that, like, if anything, I was a bit worried. Like you saying, his choices and that sometimes, and is he almost the, for someone who's been around the block that much? Is he sometimes a little bit naive? Yeah, yeah. That that that's what I take more of an issue to. Or, 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 or yeah. <laughs> Well, if you what? think about the the bit where he he's he's staking out, um, I don't know what, what it's called, Jabba's old palace. He's not it's not Jabba's palace anymore, but he's staking it out. He then he goes off and gets Bib Fortuna enlist enlists the um, the help of Fennec after he's been to the robot thing. She's the one that comes up with the plan. And let's be honest, it's not exactly a devious plan. Anyone could have thought of that. Watch the rotation of the guards sneak in. I mean that that's that's kind of spy network one oh one, isn't it? Well so, it's, it's oh, almost definitely. like Bold, Baldrick came up with a plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll just wait for them to go and then we walk in. Yeah. <laughs> but it's those kind of things that, that, that great on me. But it, it doesn't come from a place of But then you know, she's supposed to be like this, Boba Fett's, t- this cool dude. She's supposed to be this top um, super assassin as well, isn't she? But like you say, it's not it's not the greatest plan. No, and I mean, it worked, but I mean, I'm st- I'm still getting over the fact we've got sort of the teenage biker boys, BMX bandits going around. Although, uh, maybe I don't know. It's just like I don't know if the joke's wearing thin now, but you've got kids on bikes with modifications. Are they mods? You know what I mean? Is that what they're going? For? <laughs> you know, it's just like. We are the mods. We are the mods. You know, and we did the whole Modrophenia thing last week, but it's just like, uh, I, I'm, yeah, I'm still struggling they're, with they're, these they're, guys. They're still, they're still pushing out of it. And again, it, it's new characters. And I said it last week. You know, everyone moans, oh, they're just bringing back the old ones. Here's some new ones, and then they're like, so, oh, everyone moans about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but, but again, and, and this is difficult for all of us. So, okay, because you know, we, we've seen the films. I, I played a lot of the, the games as well. And you know, a lot of the speeder bikes are just really cool, and they could have had like a you know, a biker gang, you know, with, with cool speeder bikes, and, and and I wouldn't have had much of an issue. But these things just look so out of place. It, it's just, yeah, almost like a yeah. speeder bike too far. Yeah, no, I agree. But on the plus side, 
We finally got to see a Wookiee rip someone's arm off. Yeah, I've, I've got that on my list of, um, <laughs> of goods. And, Chris, and it does look like Chrysanthemum is hanging around now because it looks like Bubba's hired him, which, to be fair, that, is a good choice. Yeah, that we knew that was going to happen. And it, yeah. again, it, 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 I wanted to see kind of, I wanted to see him run back in, though, in the way he ran off last time. Yeah, that would have been so, cool. So he's, episode... he's basically building up his gang, isn't he? Is, yeah. he? is there going to be a dozen of them or seven of them? That's what I'm thinking now, to keep with the Western thing. Because it's like, because we've got, obviously, at the end, um, our old friend, the Mandalorian, is coming back. Seven what you mean? Oh, uh, seven, like, the Boba Fett and his, and his seven is magnificent. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> I, thought, I, th- I, thought, I thought it was a joke with the play on words. Well, I don't know what he's called, so I'm going to call him Chrysanthemum from now onwards. Cause... Yeah. Well, in the in the books, it was Black Chrysanthemum, but uh, I guess they got rid of the black bit because you can't be like racist Wookiee or something. <laughs> oh, there, yeah, but yeah, I think you're right. I think that's where it's going to be, and you're going to at some point there's going to be a shot of them all uh, on a dune in in Tatooine, and it's going to the camera's Sun going, going down, down across. Or, or, I want that. I want that. I want that tomb. I want the tombstone <laughs> shot of them walking yeah, down the road exactly. like in tombstone. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Well, although the way the way it's going, they may just do have a. Well, I was going to say it feels like they're, they're they're trying to do a Guardians of the Galaxy type thing, so there may be something from the the eighties, but yeah, it's Wild West, isn't it? So. Mm. But I like the I like the idea with the crime bosses though, where it was like, "Will you help me?" And they're like, "No." Goes, well, I ask you to remain neutral then until this is over. I thought that was kind of a nice touch, and they all agree. Obviously, someone's going to betray him, but like. Well, it's, you know, it's, it's been a long that... time. It's a long time since I've seen God, Godfather, but isn't that a plot line in that? Or I might be thinking of something else. But basically, it's not. You know, you got some crime crime bosses basically gathered around a table, and it and it is. It's not. No, in, in, the, in, the, in the Godfather. Godfather might, no, in the in the Godfather, Godfather, they all want to kill him. Yeah, they I know want that. To kill but... him, and then but he does it the other way. So you all think they're plotting on him, and then it gets to the the christening of the. the, the I wanted the daughter's Christian, and it was something, and he whacks all of them. And that's Maybe a, it's when, something else. Yeah, I might be it, thinking of something else then. But no, nah, sure but there is, there is a that. bit like there is a bit like that. But you, yeah, but you think they're all they're all nice to him, and you think they're all plotting him, and then he just whack, he, he does them all in one day, and then like takes over. Well, there was that. a point I was expecting the the the, um, the trap door to just open. But then I went actually they can't do that because the people that are sat the other people there's other people that sat on the table that you wouldn't want to get rid of. Yeah, no, it's a. It'll be interesting to see. It's, but I'm, I'm, I'm interested in it. I'm still. I think it's, it's doing all right. I mean, people are going like, oh, that's it now. It's ruined it for me. I'm never watching Star Wars again. It's like you said that three films ago, and you're still watching. Yeah. I'd actually say it's probably. I mean, the second <laughs> half of the episode was probably the best we've seen so far out of the four. That, yeah. You know, because it was everything you want from a, a from a, a Star Wars universe. Criminal <laughs> underground. Yeah. You, yeah, well, you, you know, you, Slave One's back or whatever it's called now, Fire in Bubba, the Sky or whatever. Bubba Fett Spaceship. Fire Spray or something, <laughs> I think he called it, didn't he? Yeah, or that, 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 was all, that was always the classification of it, apparently. I did look that up. Oh, right, okay. That, that goes didn't because that. Like, cause I was saw an argument and someone was saying, like, oh, well, if they give it a new name, and someone was like, actually, if you've got the Sunset <laughs> 1985, it was called that then. He was called Slave One, but the classification was... Oh, what, right. fire and Where? so that's back so that's good Fennec was kicking ass hanging off, hanging off the back of it that doesn't sound right but you know was, was Ming he's, Nguyen he's fine off. she's on the platform kicking ass you got yeah. some biker gangs being blown up as we've already mentioned an arm being ripped off so that's everything we were hoping to see from almost day one so it's there now it's just it took far too, it, it, the, the series has taken too long to get there but even this episode in my mind took too long to get to that point there but was far but too much juxt- juxtaposition yeah, but they're very much words. it's very much though the, it's that western style or the even the Kurosawa style of you know we must learn the hero's journey and all that in the back I know what you mean do you mean, do like, mean eastern style but I was thinking of like, how Kurosawa does it in this, which George Lucas ripped off yeah. anyway but um but it's that kind of, you know, you see the hero's journey and why they're on the quest, yeah, yeah. The, the reborn. And like you said, like the Sarlacc, which I believe is Damon, you called it a space vagina with teeth. Yeah. That's so, one. yeah. So it's like, yeah, he was. He was reborn out of a space vagina with teeth. <laughs> shred, shred of everything of his identity and has recreated himself now. 
He's got his yeah, armor back though. And, and I, I kind of get the point. And it, he's building up his team. He's building up his crew. What to take on an enemy? What we really need to see is more of who that enemy is. Well, and that's that's the question, isn't it? Is it no, the is that, exactly, people? Yeah. Is it the the huts? Is it it's, the it's got to be Pike Syndicate, surely? Is that what it's or is it, for? Or is it Crimson Dawn? Yeah, you got the Crimson Dawn, or is it Fennec herself? You were suspicious of her last week, David, yeah. if I remember. I still am, but yeah. I think it is mine. Yeah. It is made yeah, big old, bad. Yeah, old Jonathan because... Creek there. But I, I <laughs> think if they if they were clever, and this would be what I would do, in the, la- in the last episode of the series, I'd have something where you've got... Um... Oh, God, what's her face? Amelia Clark. Clark. Yeah, Amelia Clark at the end. Is I'm glad I said that before you, you finished <laughs> finished that <laughs> sentence. I was yeah. <laughs> it was going to yeah. be a reference to her appearance in Game of Thrones. Let's just say that. Yeah. Um. um yeah. yeah that... So I like something like that. Although it would be she would be about 40, 30, 40 years later from Solo. But at the same time, space people seem to don't age as much, and they then they got to put a grey streak in her hair or something and patch on her eye. And she's old, you know. What I mean, that's what you do in Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. Or, so or maybe they, or they replace her with a different actress. But no, no. I think, ch- I think they ch- got chances are there was yeah. there was on about are, there was, it will be her with makeup, won't it? Yeah, there, there's talk if, because there was, if, there if was talk of her having her own show anyway. Exactly. So that might even be the next one, but that would be cool for her to turn up near the end. And, it, and it's John Favreau who's always thinking. He's always thinking. <laughs> the protector of the protector of childhood, John Favreau. That's his yeah. official title now. He keeps it. He keeps all our childhood safe. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm enjoying it. It's a good series. I don't see what everyone's fussed about. It's just so many people going. But it's not what I thought was going. Boba Fett doesn't do that. How do you know what he does? You didn't create him. Well, exactly. That was my point at the very top of this. I mm. I. I don't understand it. I don't get it. Maybe it's because I'm not a fanboy in the, in the, you know, the same respects as a lot of people. I loved the films when I was a kid. I had the toys. I then had a life in my teens and 20s and I'm revisiting it now. So I don't have that, you know, uh, as we up. mentioned, and as we I mentioned, he, what he was, he had five minutes of, of airtime. So there wasn't much of him in, in to go yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. So you know, as a, you know, he was an empty vessel basically as a prop that people have you know, he's had forty years of people able to fill that armor with whatever they thought he was actually. Yeah, was. and made up their own stories. Or you yeah. know, I know there have been books and that since, but everyone well, needs to that's not canon anymore. Yeah, it? but when when Disney took over, they said the only thing that's still canon are the films, and then they yeah. went part re- Some of it's come back in, and they filled with it in their own ways, but at the same time, you know, and I know that if you've been buying those books for 20 years, to be told that that's not real anymore, to so something that's not real isn't real, even realer, not realer, whatever you want to call it, you yeah. know, you, you've got to accept that, and, it, you know, it's time to move on, boys. I'm going <laughs> to say, Book of Boba Fett, good. People's attitudes bad. Well, just yeah. enjoy it. Hold, watch hold, it. Hold on, hold on. Let, let's be honest though, because we are also critical as well, and we, you know, so I think, not, yeah, but I think our not, criticism is like, coming, isn't coming from that place. That that was my point. Our criticism oh, okay. is coming from the way the story is now being told, yeah. the the pacing, that kind of stuff. And yeah, we're judging I, on what they're relating to it rather than I'm not liking this because Bubba yeah. Fett. Yeah, used to like the, yeah, walk, is with his left foot first, and so now he works with his right foot first. They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> exactly. That's what I've got an issue with. Okay. 